Hello, I'm Kent Masterson Brown, Abraham Lincoln. Nearly 16,000 books have been written about Lincoln's life, but the world really does not know very much about Lincoln's family. This is the story of the Lincolns in Kentucky. It is a story of a pioneer family in the years following the Revolutionary War in Kentucky, of loss and sadness, of a determination to make life better and to raise a family in the midst of want and hardship. Join me as we explore one of the most authentic of all American stories, the Lincolns in Kentucky. Mr. Abraham Lincoln. That speech framed for Lincoln all of his debates with Senator Douglas. Left the slavery question. The debate started in Ottawa on August 21st, 1858, before 10,000 people. The two candidates then traveled to Freeport, where on August 27th, they performed in front of 15,000. He became circuit judge in 1849. Lincoln met Davis while a young legislator in 1836. God save the state of Illinois and this honorable court. Abraham Lincoln for John Sturgeon, the defendant. Proceed, Mr. Lincoln. Thank you, Your Honor. The two became the closest of friends over those many years. An unmarried woman cannot commit adultery. Judgment, notwithstanding the verdict, must be entered in this case. The motion is denied. Thank you, gentlemen. On August 15th, the invasion force appeared outside of Bryan Station, just east of Lexington. Concealed in the cane breaks along North Elkhorn Creek and in the hemp fields to the north and east, the main party waited while a smaller element of Native American warriors fired on the southern wall of the fort from a tall cornfield along the Buffalo Trace. While the main force was concealed, the women of Bryan Station, with unequaled courage, carried their pails and piggins and noggins to the spring just below the north wall to retrieve desperately needed water. Incredibly, the enemy force allowed all of them to pass. Then, furious attacks were launched. Everything around the fort, cabins, outbuildings, cattle, sheep, and horses, was destroyed. My footsteps have often been marked with blood, and therefore I can truly subscribe to Kentucky's original name, the dark and bloody ground. Two darling sons and a brother I have lost by savage hands. Many dark and sleepless nights I have been a companion for owls, separated from the cheerful society of men, scorched by the summer sun and pinched by the winter's cold, an instrument ordained to settle the wilderness. Daniel Boone. Boone was faithful to the end. He was a man of great integrity as well as courage. He loved his family and he had a great faith in his God. What more could ever be said of a man? Thank you very much.